Hey, what's up, guys? Ultimate Game here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today on the review table, we have the McFarlane Toys Series 10 AMC's The Walking Dead Aaron 5 inch action figure, by the way, just in case you didn't know. Anyways, uh, before we start this review, I just want to say if you missed out on yesterday's toy review, do not forget to go check that out. We did review the Color Tops Carl Grimes action figure. Uh, so if you want to go check that out, link is in the description below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and let's get on with it. So, here we go. Uh, Aaron, as you can see, comes with a ton of accessories. I can't remember the last time we got this many accessories on a figure, honestly. So, on the back here, we can see that, if you guys remember when I reviewed the uh, Rick, Aaron was not there, so they, they didn't show him at all, and they all, all of a sudden put him right there behind Rick. And here we have the other color tops, I don't know why Carl's not there. Um, and the 10 inch figures, which is the Glenn, there will be a new Walmart exclusive that is all bloody. So, uh, don't know if I'll be reviewing that and picking it up and putting it on my shelf of something that is coming very soon. Anyways... Let's get this figure opened up, and I'll tell you guys my opinion on it, and whether I recommend it or not. And we'll look into the painting, or the painting, the uh, details, articulation, etc. Let's get on with the review. So here we have the Aaron figure out of its packaging, and it is a really good figure so far. I did check out a little bit of its articulation, and its accessories, I gotta say, are really good. Uh, it does have one repeated accessory, but they did manage to detail it a lot more better than the original. And I'll get into that in a little bit. So, uh, mine seems to be having some, uh, balancing issues only because my table has, like, a cushion part. So, my tabletop does have a cushion, so it's probably the reason why this can't stand. But if it was, like, a hardtop table, then, yeah, uh, this figure would t definitely be able to stand. Uh, now, taking a look at the accessories, he does come with headphones, which fit on really nicely. Um, I believe this is the first time we've seen anything like, any, um, accessory like this, that's a headphone, that can go onto the figures, so it's, uh, really nice. We also, it also comes with a license plate that reads, uh, let me try and get it without my fingers, make, like, giant shading, there we go. Four and, okay, well, way to drop it, uh, finger. Give me a second, alright. So it reads 4MCTWD, which could uh, which basically stands for AMC's The Walking Dead, right there, which is really nice addition that they added. Uh, I don't I don't know if that was in the episode or not. He comes with a uh, snub nosed revolver, which also came with the Constable Michonne from Series Nine and Constable Rick, which was released before Aaron. So <clears throat> he also comes with a I okay. I don't know exactly what this is. It looks like a megaphone. I know it's not a megaphone though. Uh, we're just gonna call it like a little radar thingy. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably, I'll probably end up uh, finding that out after the review. Uh, he also goes with a suppressed sniper, which he did have in the episode where him and Daryl were out looking for supplies, and then they ran into the uh, red poncho man. It was before the wolves showed up, so I believe it was in uh, season six or five. Can't quite remember, but uh, he did have this, and they had to put down a horse on the show, which, well, it wasn't a real horse, but, well, they didn't put down a real horse, but, yeah, you get it. In the episode, they had to put a horse down. So, uh, I want to say something about this backpack. This backpack is a new mold compared to uh, what we've got in the past. I will do a comparison of the other old backpacks that we've gotten before. So, um, overall, he comes with... Six accessories he comes with, which is actually a lot. Um, looking at the Aaron figure himself, if we straighten him out right here, very nice looking uh, figure. The likeness to Ross Marquand, the actor who plays Aaron, is very, very nice. I love how McFarland is finally getting the likeness right on most of these newer figures, and it's really cool because if you remember the series one Rick. Look nothing like uh, Andrew Lincoln. <laughs> so, uh, he does come with a machete. It is not removable. It's only in there for detail. But, hey, I guess if you had the Rick, you could customize that machete and make it look like he pulled it out whatsoever or uh, whatnot. 
He also comes with the holster for the revolver. Now, the revolver does fit inside. Not all the way, though, which kind of sucks, because then it is loose. So, okay, well, uh, way to prove me wrong on camera. But, yeah, uh, the holster, it, or pistol does go in the holster, easy to slide out, so it doesn't get stuck in there whatsoever. He has a hoodie, obviously, his jacket, his long jack, uh, jacket, really nice, I love how they did the flannel, uh, it's pretty hard to do it if you're trying to do it yourself on some figures, flannel is like the pain in the butt part, <clears throat> so, uh, looking at our, well, on the back here, we can see the lovely wrinkling detail that McFarlane does with their figures, which is very nice, um, this articulation on the back of the knees is so much better than the Constable Rick, I, I hope we get to see, uh, like, kneeling articulation with the Glenn and Negan 2-pack that's coming out later this year. I believe in, like, summer, around summer, fall-ish type. Late summer, early fall, around there, it's gonna release. And, uh, I'm pretty hyped for it, honestly. I can't wait to get that and review it, dude. I don't know if I'm gonna pre-order it or not, because pre-ordering, I believe, does make it come later than the actual figure's release, so I don't want to have to pre-order and then end up finding it at a store and some, uh, whatnot. But, uh, we don't know, if, I don't know if it's exclusive or not, so haven't heard anything about that yet. But yeah, I think it's back on topic. So, for articulation, Aaron, uh, his head does rotate 360 degrees, surprisingly enough, even though he does have this giant hoodie in the back. Um, his arms, they have pretty good articulation for having a giant sweater. I mean, look at that. You almost got a helicopter position. Uh, so they could go back down. They uh, rotate 360 degrees like this, surprisingly enough. Not most figures with jackets can do that. Uh, his, elbow jo his elbow joint does go uh, outwards, inwards, like that. Uh, rotates 360 degrees. He has a, a little ball joint here at the uh, wrist. So... Could rotate that 360 degrees. You could swivel it a little bit. Uh, same on this side. In and out. Uh, rotate 360 degrees. Rotate 360 degrees. Little swivel here. Uh, he does not have any waist articulation, sadly. Uh, however, this figure, hopefully. Oh no. Oh, please no. Uh, yeah, this leg doesn't move. Uh, forward that much because the holster is in the way of a little rubber piece and this is like a thick plastic so it is going to block the way but uh this one could go far goes back this much uh and then leg articulation it goes all the way back like so you could possibly get them in the any meeny money mo position if you have them wheelie positioned like this like that, but you would also have to use some like clay on under his legs to hold them in position as well. Uh, so yeah, you could get him any mini money position. Uh, this does rotate 306 degrees as well, which is very nice, very good articulation if you're like me and you like doing stop motions. So, uh, for ankle articulation, it could swivel side to side, down, up, like, does it? Yep, it has an ankle pivot as well, so that's very nice. See on this side, down, up a little bit. Swivel side to side is more stiff on this side for some reason. Ankle pivot, yep. See the little ankle pivot. So it's very nice. Uh, very good on this figure. So uh, this figure is very poseable. You can get them in different poses. And if you have multiple errands, which I don't, uh, you could also uh, give them different, like, pos uh Different positions, like you could have one Aaron with the uh, headphones on and that, I guess, the uh, this little thingy here. You could have him like that and then you could have another one with him holding the sniper rifle, etc. Alright, you guys, well, uh, because Aaron didn't want to stand on the table, I had to bring my figure stand to hold them up. And uh, as you can see, he is in a little bit of a sniper position. His hand came off his rifle, damn it. But, um... It's time to do a comparison of their of his accessories, and uh, the first one is with the backpack. So, in case you can't tell, this is a brand new mold on the backpack. Uh, here, here's uh, the backpack that came with the Bloody Morgan uh, two, uh, the Morgan uh, box set that came with his little spike 
defense, I guess you can say. So here it is, uh, side to side. There. You can tell they're very different. And here's the one that came with the Series 3 uh, comic book, Abraham. See, big difference right here. So, yeah, this is a brand new mold on the backpack for Aaron, which is very nice. Now, uh, looking at his little snub nose revolver, um, the difference is between the other, which is right here, as you can see, Aaron's has a brown um, handle, and this one is just all black. And they also did add a little bit of metallic paint on Aaron's little. Um, oh shit, I'm not, I'm not sure what this is called. Uh, where the bullet's going, though. I forgot what it's called, dude. Uh, but, yeah, this is, uh, they are the same mold, however. Uh, they are, yeah, they are the same mold, except, uh, Aaron's is painted a little, uh, well, actually, way more better than, uh, this one that came with the Constable Rick. So, that is a difference right there. And then, uh, the rifle that Aaron comes with, and he fell. Oh, uh, let me put him back on the stand. Stan came loose on him. Hold up. Well, oh, rip. Uh, so, uh, here's the uh, sniper that I believe. This one came with the comic uh, series. The comic series 4, I believe it was. Um, Andrea. Or I think this is the one that came with Dale. As you can see, there, uh, they are kind of different molds. Actually, yeah, they are different molds. Aaron has a suppressor, this one doesn't, this one has a long barrel, however, and uh, this one is larger than Aaron's, and the uh, handle, or sorry, the uh, back here, is the stock, that's what it's called, is uh, also different, and the scope is way more different, so yeah, this rifle is bigger than the one that comes with Aaron's, Aaron's is more of a smaller, more mobile sniper, so I believe it wouldn't be as heavy when carrying it, uh, get this figure stand out of here. So as far as um, posing goes, if you want to pose them in a sniper type position, you would have to get uh, these, this sh uh, elbow in like a pretty weird position here. If I can like try and do this right now. it This took me like literally five minutes to do and then I have to now do it again. Hopefully this time it won't take five minutes. I guess if you want it easy on you, you can make it look like he's holding it, but he's not. So, like that, here you can make it look like, uh, uh, the day will come when you won't be, I believe, no, 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 sorry, uh, I think it's the last day on Earth, where, uh, they, uh, they hang the guy and he turns and he's looking at the bridge like, should I take the shot? Should I take the shot? Uh, so yeah, you could get this Aaron in, uh, different poses as well, if you have, like, a walker on this side, and you have, um, or, sorry, uh, Aaron right here as well. And you have a walker on this side, you could make it look like he's about to open fire. Or you can, like, have him on, a, uh, like, a, a tower. Make him be aiming at Negan. And, you know, unlike some other characters on the show, uh, he will take the shot. You know, uh, <coughs> Michonne, <coughs> Sasha. Well, you know, rest in peace, Sasha. But, uh, oh, I, okay, well, uh, his leg does move forward as well. So you could get him in a sitting position as well. A little bit. Kind of. Uh, I guess this leg was just stiff right there for a moment. So, yeah. Uh, articulation again. Leg does move in a kicking position. Could get him in a, uh, like, Jesus-type kicking position. That. Uh, so this figure is a recommended. If you see this at your Walgre at your local Walgreens, I do recommend picking him up. Hit. <sighs> picking him up. Aaron is a pretty cool figure. It's nice to finally have a character... Uh, a figure of a character who we've never gotten before instead of, you know, just a whole wave or a whole series of figures that are literally all Ricks in different outfits. So, uh, the snub nose revolver does fit nicely on his left hand. This, so you could also have him killing, uh, in a pose like he's about to shoot a walker like this. Or you can try and, like, have him in a pose like Rick wasn't on top of the bus like that. Except he's like in front of Alexandria. Should I have Alexandria? <laughs> uh, let me. So, yeah, you could have him like this. Pretty nice pose, actually. 
I might have them like this on my uh on my display with Aaron for um one of the sets of the uh future seasons for the my stop motion series cuz keep in mind I did already plan all the way to se uh season 5 I believe yeah season 5 so all the scripts are done for that series I just need to do the voice and or well we need to do the voices and then uh the uh actual stop motion the filming so yeah, this again. This is recommended. Uh, I would give this rating a uh, ten out of ten. Really nice figure. Really good. I don't seem to have any issues with him. And as far as the legs go, unlike my constable Rick, whose leg broke literally like fifteen or ten minutes after the review of the constable Rick, I was playing around with him and his leg literally snapped off. And it was this leg. So glad that they fixed that. And now Aaron, uh, his legs don't snap. Hopefully. Because it was a pain in the ass just to find this Aaron. And uh, really smooth articulation as well on him. Really nice detailing. Also, right here on the, at the end of his sleeve, you can see they made it look like his jacket sleeve is a little bit pulled back. And you can see part of the f long uh, flannel sleeve right there. So that's also really nice detail they put on this figure. Uh, very nice figure again. Really recommend. I wouldn't expect much with the machete. Don't expect to be able to like, pull it out whatnot. Uh, really nice to have on display though. So hopefully, uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe. Stand, Aaron. Also, don't forget to check out yesterday's video where we reviewed the Aaron or the Color Tops Carl Grimes action figure. All right. Also, you guys come back tomorrow where we're gonna be re uh re looking at. A giant box that I've had in my garage for a long time that we finally took out. Come back tomorrow. I'm going to be opening it up. We're going to be looking through all the figures. And it is a Star Wars action figure box. There are a little bit of figures from other things in there. So uh, I'll come back tomorrow on the channel. where We're going to um, take a look at that giant box. We're going to unbox it. We're going to open it up and see what is inside. I have not opened this box in like two or three years. It's been in my garage since we moved to our new house. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe once again. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.